Thank you, uh, Comrade Dan, uh, Deputy Secretary General of SPLM. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press, today is a great day. As uh, Comrade Dr. Ran Ito mentioned to you, we just ended a meeting. Uh, today, the SPLM National Liberation Council uh, took uh, very important resolutions in implementation of the Arusha Peace Agreement and also discuss the need to end this war, to reconcile the SPLM, resolve the crisis which is started in the SPLM. And our chairman tabled uh, the proposal for the implementation of the, of the Arusha Agreement and requested the National Liberation Council to revoke its decision that was taken on the 14th of uh, December 2013. The National Liberation Council, after discussion, resolved to revoke that resolution and resolved to proceed with the implementation of the Arusha Agreement to proceed with the unification of SPLM, reunification of SPLM. And as part of that, I have been reinstated as Secretary General. What I have made is to reassure the chairman, the leadership of the SPLM in the political bureau, the National Liberation Council, the entire membership of SPLM, to rededicate myself and to express my recommitment to the objectives, visions and values of SPLM and to work for the reunification of SPLM. As you all know, the National Liberation Council and the chairman of the, of the SPLM have earlier on resolved to reinstate Dr. Yag Machar as the first deputy chair of the SPLM and other comrades in the SPLM in opposition. With the steps that have been taken today, we will be proceeding to ensure the full reunification of SPLM. We will be working and will leave no stone unturned until the SPLM is reunited in all its group, whether in the SPLM in opposition or SPLM that has remained under Comrade Salfakir Mayadid in the government or our group that was known as former detainees. We are no longer former detainees and we are working to make sure that the SPLM is reunited. We will be now proceeding to engage with our comrades in the SPLM in opposition so that we bring the SPLM back to its glory. And when we are done correcting our mistakes that we have been committing, apologizing to each other within the SPLM, reuniting ourselves and strengthening our unity and recommitment to our vision, we will then proceed to reintroduce the SPLM, the new SPLM, the rejuvenated SPLM, 
under the leadership of Comrade Selva Kir Mayadid, the new SPLM that has corrected its mistakes to apologize to the people of South Sudan for the mistakes that we have committed for our failures in leading the people of South Sudan, for having let the people of South Sudan down. You know the history of SPLM. When we are divided because of mistakes, things go bad and bad. This has been the case from the inception of SPLM. In 1983, we got divided and we were reminded today by the chairman of the great moments that we had when we reunite and the sad and difficult moments when we have experienced what we have experienced when we were divided. During the struggle, when we were divided, the liberated area shrank. We had difficulties to achieve the dream of our people. When we were united, we were able to achieve the dreams of our people. Today, with the mistakes that we have committed, with the failures that we have experienced in leading the people of South Sudan, Today, when we are uniting, we will be able and for sure apologize to the people of South Sudan and promise the people of South Sudan and we will be able to deliver. You know that this has been the history of SPLM. This is the occasion of today. And from now, it is going to business of uniting the SPLM. From now, it is a business of proceeding to stop this war and bring peace to our country so that we can rebuild South Sudan, improve and change the tarnished image of South Sudan and the SPLM, and united work to make the dream of all our martyrs on the top of whom our founding father and visionary leader Dr. John Garang de Mubier, make his dream come true, the dream of a peaceful, free and a prosperous South Sudan. And that is as far